Welcome to Collateral. Today's story is about the world's biggest plastic dump, and it's not in a landfill. I just want to say one word to you. Just one word. Yes, sir. Are you listening? Yes, sir, you. Plastics. Exactly how do you mean? There's a great future in plastics. Forty years later, the future is here. And with respect to plastics, it's not so great. In the northeastern Pacific Ocean lies one of the world's great unnatural wonders. It's been dubbed the Great Garbage Patch, a vast swath of ocean littered with plastic debris drawn there by a swirling vortex of currents. It measures more than 540,000 square miles, or more than twice the size of Texas. Fish, turtles, birds, and other marine life ingest all sorts of plastic crap near this vast wasteland, which often remains trapped in their bodies until they die. The young are most susceptible, and they frequently die when plastic blocks their digestive tracts. And that's just the tip of the iceberg. Now, as this floating trash disintegrates, the problem actually gets worse. You see, plastic isn't biodegradable, it's photodegradable. Sunlight makes it brittle and breaks it into minuscule pieces. Fish mistake these pieces for plankton, the most important link in the marine food chain. According to one researcher, quote, huge increases in production are making the whole ocean this plastic soup. Every creature in the ocean is eating plastic, end quote. And since every creature in the ocean eats plastic, we eat plastic when we eat fish. Researchers have found that the amount of microplastics in the ocean has tripled over the last 10 years. Plastics now account for 90% of all floating marine debris. And there's no known way to remove the microplastic that's already in the ocean. The best we can do is stop adding more crap and improve local pollution control efforts. Those who profit from plastics are trying to dispute the harm that plastics cause. Now, the exact nature of the harm can be endlessly debated, and it will be, because debating endlessly is a tactic for maintaining the status quo. But really, even if you leave out the worst health effects, what's to argue about? It's indisputable that humans have created a toxic mess that kills marine life, poisons the ocean environment, all the while it turns it into a toilet. What exactly is the argument for accepting that? 